Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Today, I have a quick and fun card to celebrate Arbor Day. I'm revisiting a set of tree dies that I've had in my stash for a while. They're from MFT, and they're called Tree Mendus. I absolutely love these dies. They have darling faux stitching around them. And as you can see, I'm applying some distressed oxides using this Classy Stripes stencil from Altenew. So each tree is going to have green stripes, and this one was peeled paint. And then I'm going to cover the stripes with the stencil and add a color, and this one is Candied Apple. I've taped everything down to my work surface with some purple tape. To keep my tree dies from shifting as I do this, I did put a little bit of dot liner on them and glued them to this sheet of type paper. Then I can just easily pull them up when I'm done. And they turn out really cute. I just love the effect of these stripes on these trees. For my next trees, I'm using Cracked Pistachio for my green color. I'm carefully swiping my ink blending tool to the side to keep the stencil from shifting. This time around, I figure out that I can just flip the stencil and use the area where it's clean and then I don't have to wash it in between every application of Distress Oxide. So I've covered up the green stripes again with my stencil, and now I'm applying some worn lipstick. Now that I have ink all over my stencil, I'm going to wash it this time before I do my third set of trees. You could clean it off with some baby wipes, but I just took mine to the kitchen sink and gently cleaned it. Now I'm using some bundled sage for my green and I'm flipping the stencil and covering them up and coming in with some shaded lilac. To color the trunks, I'm using some walnut stain, and I could have used Copic markers or something that probably would have gone a little bit faster, but I just wanted to keep all of the coloring consistent. I have a piece of craft cardstock that I've cut down to five and a quarter by four. I'm just trying to figure out the arrangement of these trees on my card. I'm using dot liner again to adhere my trees. I'm using a lot more than I did when I just wanted to tack them down temporarily. I want these to stay in place permanently. Since my tree trunks are so narrow and delicate, I thought I'd use a little bit of liquid glue behind them. I will have all of the supplies I use to create this card listed over on my blog if you're interested. Okay, since this card is all about trees today, I'm going to tell you my very favorite tree, and that is a thornless honeysuckle. They're pretty common. You find them everywhere, but in the springtime, they smell so heavenly and sweet. I just love them. I love all trees, really. We have a beautiful ornamental pear tree at the side of my house that my husband wanted to cut down, but I forbade him because it's so beautiful. Let me know in the comments if any of you have a favorite tree. I'd really love to hear what your favorite tree is. Now back to the card. The glue has dried on this, and I'm using a pair of long, sharp scissors to cut off the overhang. And I find that using a pair of long scissors works best to cut a straight line against your card panel. I think they're a great tool to have in your craft room, and I sure use mine a lot. For the sentiment, I'm using another oldie from my stash, and it says, May the forest be with you. It comes from an MFT stamp set, and I'll have that linked over on my blog as well. I stamped that twice to get a nice dark impression, and now I'm going to cut it out with one of my banner dies. I'm going to use some foam squares behind this just to pop it up off the front of my card. I'm also going to be using some pretty pink posh sequins called Nature Mix. I thought these just complemented my card perfectly. But first I'm going to adhere the panel onto a pink card base. And then I'm going to put the sentiment on. This time I remembered to put it on first before the sequins. And then to apply the sequins, I'm just using some more Connect glue and this fabulous tool, it's called a jewel picker. It's so much easier than using your fingers and having all of the sequins stick to your fingers because of the static. <laughs> I've had that happen to me a lot. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also click on the bell if you'd like to be notified when I publish a new video. And don't forget to share this video on your favorite social media.
And this completes my card. I hope you all have a wonderful day and find some time to sit down and create something awesome. And happy Arbor Day. Bye.